Hello, I'm Charles King, and welcome to our series on historic Pueblo pottery. Today, we're going to talk about a century of black-on-black -black pottery. We'll look at the dynamic evolution from painted polychrome to painted blackware. The story begins with black fire pottery, which was being created in northern New Mexico, at Okeawinge Pueblo, and nearby Santa Clara Pueblo. How was the black color achieved? It was done during the firing process. The pieces would be fired outside, and then at the end of the firing, covered with horse manure in a reduction process that would turn the clay black. At San Ildefonso Pueblo, there was an extraordinary tradition of pottery making. However, unlike many of the other Pueblos, their focus was on polychrome pottery, which utilized various colors of clay to create the design. In the early 1900s, Maria Martinez and her husband Julian were known for their polychrome pottery. Maria would make the pieces, and Julian would paint the intricate designs. According to Maria, around 1918, she made some small plainware black bowls, which sold very quickly. The question was how could Julian paint on this stone burnished surface? On 1919 to 1920, Maria and Julian created a process by which Maria would make and stone polish the pottery and Julian would paint the designs before the pieces were fired. In addition, Julian reduced the firing temperature and the firing time, and the result was a highly burnished vessel with matte designs. One of their first black-on-black -black pieces, much like this one, was put on display in July 1920 at the Museum of New Mexico. Julian's painting style quickly evolved, with creative new designs matching creative new shapes. The new black-on-black -black style of pottery was an immediate success. It brought notoriety to Maria and her husband Julian, and to San Ildefonso Pueblo. While Maria and Julian created the black-on-black -black pottery around 1920, by 1922, other well-known San Ildefonso potters were also working in this style, including Susanna Aguilar, Anna Martinez, and Tanita Roybal. Other San Ildefonso potters quickly took up this new style and lent their creative voice to the black-on-black -black process. The creative excitement of this new style of pottery can easily be seen when in 1922, at the first Indian Market Fair, potters from San Ildefonso exhibited their new black-on-black -black pottery. The artistic and marketing success of the new painted blackware also left requests for artists to begin signing their pottery. But that is another story. Thank you for joining us for our series on historic Pueblo pottery. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about black on blackware. Please visit us online at kinggalleries.com or join us at our locations in Scottsdale and Santa Fe.